Okay, so what I've got here today is the Baofeng, and this is the BF F9 V2 Plus. Now, let me say that again BF F9 V2 Plus. This is their newest uh, 8 watt radio, and I'm needing to program this. Um, but the typical software that comes with these things is a little bit cantankerous at best and it's very cumbersome so what I'm going to show you today is uh, how to program one of these with chirp now as of today <clears throat> you will not find uh, on the chirp menu a entry uh, for this radio but through some experimentation uh, I've found a, a radio that's close enough uh, that it will work fine, and I will show you that here in just a second. Let's go over to the computer. Okay, so here we are on the desktop, and we're going to open up Chirp. Now, the software that does come with this radio will work, but it is quite cantankerous. And I'm going to show you how to fill up the 127 channels available for you real easily so after installing the latest version of chirp just open it up here and let's go to radio download from radio and here is what you have to remember the radio that we're programming is a bf f9 v2 plus however if you pick this model BF-F8HP Chirp will talk to it and it will work just fine so let's do this we're gonna download from the radio all right and as you see my radio had one channel already pre-programmed in there and that's the local races channel so now how is the easiest way to get all of my local channels all my local repeaters uh, programmed into my channels uh, the easiest way possible well here a little while back uh, chirp uh, uh, created this little import from data source function this hasn't been around the entire time and I found that the repeater book for my area is is a pretty good place to start now when you click that it's going to come up it's going to ask you for your state and your county and my county is Tarrant so I'm gonna grab here and you can pick uh, whatever you would like uh, now I'm gonna go into if you want to group all of your uh, two meter repeaters together and all your 70 centimeter repeaters together of course some of these are not going to be applicable to this radio you can do uh, the import in batches uh, now you could select all and uh, and it would get all of them for Tarrant County but I'm gonna put all of my UHF together I'm gonna put all my VHF together so the first thing I'm gonna do is grab my UHF channels excuse me uh, VHF channels and we'll just download that now if you notice here my races is on channel one I do not want to erase that so if I was to import right now I would put this frequency 14511 over the top of my 14694 so that's what these little buttons down here are for so I'm going to shift this entire row by one so now I'm coming from one to two would be my starting channel so let's just hit OK It'll just blink off there and now you see that Racy's is still number one and I started with two with the 145 one one all right so these are all of the Tarrant County uh, VHF frequencies let me get the UHF channels now now you notice we're starting at 18 is the next blank channel so let's go radio import from data source repeater book going to change this to 70 centimeters hit OK and again we've got some blank spots here 
but I don't want to start there. I want to start at 18. So I'm going to hit the plus 10. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so the first one I'm going to is 18. Now, you get these weird uh, messages. If something is grayed out, uh, there's probably a potential problem with that. And it's not going to import it, but you still have, it's still taking up space. So I'm going to show you that's real easy to fix. But the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and import those now. All right, so now we have these two blank places. And you can just highlight that, delete, shift to block up. We've got two more. Delete. Shift all memories up. And there we have it. We now have all of our UHF channels in for Tarrant County and all of our VHF channels and they're, they're grouped together. Uh, now I have a whole lot of extra room here so you see my next spot is 68. So I'm going to go radio, import from data source, repeater book, and the uh, next door county is Dallas and I do travel into Dallas from time to time so I'm gonna go ahead and just change to Dallas County So now all we have to do is send it to the radio. Okay, so I'm going to save this. I'm going to export this to a chirp file first. And we're going to call this DFW. Okay, that's a chirp file. I want all. Okay, and then I'm going to export it. I want to export this to a CSV file also. So I'm going to call this DFW, but I'm going to pick CSV. Okay, there we go. So now we've programmed all of the repeaters in the Dallas Fort Worth area into the Bofang and I've got a chirp file I can uh, reference later and I even have a CSV file that I can uh, manipulate with uh, other uh, like Excel or something of that nature. Alright that's for this video. Thank you for watching.